Hey, my divine ones, y'all come on in, come on in, come on in, baby. Glory be to God. Let's get right on into it, baby. I hear the Lord say, I'm about to flip that thing. Woo! God about to flip some things in your life, baby. God about to flip some situations in your life. I hear the Lord say that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard, neither has it even entered into your heart, baby the good things that God has for you because he loves you, baby, because you are his chosen one. I want y'all to go down there in the comments right now. If you already resonate with this message, baby, if you already feel it, if you already know that something is shifting, that something is changing for you, that God is doing a new thing in your life, I want you to go down there in the comments right now, baby, and put that thing in the comments. Divine ones, y'all know how we do, baby. Put that thing in the comments. Say, God about to flip that thing. And I want you to put it just like that. I want you to say it just like that. Say, God about to flip that thing for me because I'm the chosen one. That's right, baby. I hear the Lord say, because you are my chosen one. See, because you are the anointed one, because you are the divine one. Glory be to God. And we got some new divine ones that been joining the family, baby. So I want to tell y'all to come on in, come on in, come on in. Because the Lord says, baby, that you ain't seen nothing yet. I hear God say that he's waking you up to your divine identity. He's showing you who you are in the spirit. He's revealing to you things about his kingdom. I want y'all, I want to encourage y'all to keep on seeking the kingdom of God. I want to encourage you to come in, watch these videos, baby. And as you watch these videos, get your journal. Get your blue ink pen, and I want you to be intentional about the messages that you hear. I want you to start writing this stuff down, baby. I want you to understand that when you get intentional about your transformation and you're not just passively watching the videos, but you actually taking notes and you studying to show yourself approved and you seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness and his laws. And then you start aligning your life with God's laws and his principles that you hearing on these videos that you hearing through these messages here on the YouTube channel, baby. You're going to see God begin to flip some things in your life. I hear the Lord say what the enemy sent your way for bad. Woo! God said, I'm finna flip that thing, baby. He said, I'm going to flip it and reverse it. And I'm going to run it by one time for the chosen one. Because the Lord said, you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord is showing me how all these messages that he's been giving me recently, how they all just coming together and it's, it's all coming together and God is using it to speak to you in a mighty way in this season, baby. I want y'all to understand. Let me slow down, baby, because I got on here and got a little excited, uh, got so excited for everything that God was showing me and revealing to me about your, about you and your destiny and your purpose. And so this is what he was showing me. Um, God showed me the flip side of things. This is why I say that he's about to flip some things in your life. He about to flip it and reverse it. He going to take what the devil sent your way for bad. He going to take what the enemy sent your way for evil. And God is going to flip it. And God going to turn that pain into purpose. Come on now. He going to turn that mess. Like uh, one of my mentors be saying, Tony Gaskins. He going to turn that mess into a message. And he going to turn that pain into purpose. So what was meant to destroy you. Come on now. What was meant to take you out, it will not take you out, but it's going to take you up. Come on now. As y'all watching this video right now, baby, I want y'all to put that in the comments. Say, I'm going higher in Christ. That's right, baby. Affirm it tonight. Affirm it today. Affirm it this morning. Whenever you may watch this video, I want you to speak it out of your mouth. I want you to put it in the comments. I want you to get your journal and your blue ink pen. And I want you to declare it tonight that I am going higher in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that if you decree a thing, that it shall be established unto you. So whatever you open your mouth and decree, whatever you open your mouth and say, you are a self-fulfilling prophecy. This was one of the um, most important principles that I learned in my life, that nobody could speak anything over me or, or, or speak a word curse over me or say something over me or declare something over me, except I come into agreement with it myself, except I believe it and declare it from with my own mouth, from my own lips. So when you start changing your story and you start declaring something different, you start speaking new life over yourself, 
you're going to see new things happen in your life. So I want you to begin to speak this over your life, baby. Speak this into the atmosphere that God is flipping some things in my life. That what was sent my way to destroy me will not destroy me. It will not take me out, but it's going to take me up because I'm going higher in Christ Jesus. I want you to affirm that, baby, as you're watching this video. I want you to write it down and I want you to speak those words of affirmation over yourself every single day every single day. What you think in your life was bad, it really wasn't bad. It was sent to help make you stronger. It was sent to increase your anointing. Did you know that everything that you went through that you felt like it was literally hell, like you was going through hell, like you was sliding down the wall, doing the ugly cry. You was might have been robbing Peter to pay Paul. You might have been uh, broke, busted, and disgusted, baby. Listen, everything that you went through, I think about all the things that I went through in my past, it all helped me and shaped me to become the woman that I am today, to be able to do the things that I'm doing today. Had those things not happened to me, I wouldn't have became the person that I am today. So God took what I went through. He took my pain. He took uh, my story and he flipped it. He flipped it. He, he, he took everything that I went through and, and all the experiences that I had and the lessons that it taught me. And he showed me through the Holy Spirit. Somebody put this in the comments, say the Holy Spirit is a teacher. He is a teacher. He comes in as a friend, as a, as a teacher, as a supporter. He, he corrects you when you're wrong. He gets you on the right track. Come on now. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God that is here with you, that is present with you on this earth in your body. Glory be to God. And I speak that over each and every one of you that's watching this video, that that shall be your portion, that the Holy Spirit shall come in, but you got to let him come in. Come on now. Y'all put this in the comments and write this down in your journal. Say transformation is something that you have to allow. You have to allow this transformation. You have to allow God to come in. You have to allow him to come into your heart. Because no matter how much he loves you, baby, he ain't going to bust the door down and break in on you and force his way on you. He's not that type of God. But he says, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man, woman, boy or girl, if you hear my voice, open up, let me come in. God is a gentleman. He'll stand right there, baby, and he'll wait for you to invite him in. He'll wait for you to open up the door of your heart and allow him to come in. So transformation is something that we have to allow. So I'm gonna tell y'all, this is what God is showing me. He said the flip side. He kept showing me the flip side. And God took me to, um, it's actually one of the universal laws. If you look this up, you'll know what I'm talking about. But God speaks to me through all kind of stuff, baby, all kind of stuff. But it all flows back to the word. It all goes back to scripture. But the Lord spoke to me about the law of polarity, the law of polarity. And he says it, it is universal law that one thing cannot exist by itself alone without there being another side to it. There must be another side. It's kind of like um, when you look at like a loaf of bread, you got one side of the loaf over here and you got the other side of the loaf on the other side. You can't have one side without the other side. And it's the same way in, in the world. It's like you can't have a positive without a negative and you can't have a negative without a positive. So the Lord say for so many people, they focusing on the negative. They focusing on the, the things that are going wrong in their life. They focusing on the things that, um, that they don't have. They focusing on the lack. They're focusing on the things that they don't know how to do, but they don't realize that for every negative, there's a positive that there can not only be one side, like by law, there must be another side to this. And so this is how we have to look at our trials and our tribulations that come into our life. Um, we don't, don't, don't only focus on the negative side of it. Don't only look at the bad side of it. You know, so many people are saying, and I hear this and, and it is scripture. Scripture is being fulfilled. And you, a lot of times you'll hear people say, you know, a lot of, a lot of people are dying in these last and evil days. Like a lot of people are sick. Like a lot of people are, are impoverished. A lot of people are um, dying of this or dying of that or catching this or catching that, catching that or, you know, this is spreading or that is spreading. You know, we it's an epidemic. It's a crisis. It's all this recession. It's all this stuff. And God says, yes, that is true. But he said, I need you to understand that one cannot exist without the other, that that cannot only be 
that can that can't be the only side of it that there must be another side so he's showing me the flip side he said when you turn that coin over there's more than one side of that coin there's a whole nother side on the other side of that coin while we are living in a world where it's so much chaos it's so much negativity it's so much sickness yeah we living in the last and evil days but yes this is what god is telling me he's saying there's a flip side to that so on the flip side of that, because one cannot exist without the other. So on the flip side of that, yes, we're living in the last and evil days, but more people now are being saved and being uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. It's more people that are coming to Christ now than ever in the history of the world. Do y'all understand me? It is so many souls that's being converted. It's so many people that's entering into the kingdom of God. It's so many people that have begun to seek out God's kingdom and to seek God with their whole heart. And he told me, he said, this is what I need you to focus on. He said, this is what I need you to keep your heart towards. The people that are seeking me, the people that are looking for me, and they need the knowledge. So he tell me all the time, woman, I need you to get on here and give the knowledge. Don't focus on the people that's not listening. Well, he's saying like, don't like not pray for them. I'm going to continue to pray for them. But that can't be where I put my energy. If y'all understand what I'm saying. We have to be careful what we put our energy into, what we put our willpower into. So we have to put our willpower and our energy into the things that is going to give us energy back so that we don't burn out. So the Lord told me, he said, focus on the people that's getting saved, the people that's seeking me, the people that's hungry for Christ. There's still people out there that have a love for Jesus, that have a love for God, have a love for the kingdom, and they want that transformation and they seeking it, but they don't know how to get it. And so that's why I'm, I'm urged in my spirit and, and um, being pulled and being summoned in my spirit to come on more often, to give y'all more videos. I done started doing this every night when I sit down on the side of my bed. Before I lay down, I record something for y'all because the Lord is showing me where there's a, a whole wave, a whole remnant of people that are rising, chosen ones that are rising. And, and as God wakes y'all up to your identity and you start realizing who you are, he's showing me like, I feel the hunger. Like is in, in the spiritual realm, it's like, I feel like, hunger pains in the spirit. I feel the hunger of God's people. I feel the hunger of God's chosen ones. And it's like, uh, um, it's like when you, when a baby, when they first come out the womb, when they first born, you being born again, you being born again into the kingdom. And when you come out that womb, baby, and you come out of that world and you come into the kingdom, you hungry, you want to eat. So that's why God was telling me, he was like, you got to feed them. You got to feed them. You got to come with the knowledge. You got to come with the information. You got to come with the revelation, the confirmation. You got to come with it. And I'm putting a fire up under every one of the content creators, kingdom influencers. Come on now, speakers, life coaches, mentors for the kingdom of God. If you are uh, influencer, you got a platform. You, The Lord has blessed you to be on YouTube. You able to get on YouTube. You able to record. You able to do podcasts. You need to do as many as you can, baby. Because God is waking his people up like never before. And when these folk wake up, they hungry. They hungry. So, somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. So, and the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone. It's not enough just for you to eat food, natural food, and drink natural water. But you also need the food of the spirit. You need that knowledge of the kingdom in order to sustain you, okay? So, the Lord says, he, he, he showed me that I feel that. I feel the hunger pains in the spirit. God's people are waking up. He said... On the flip side of this, he said, yeah, it's a lot of people that's being deceived. There's a lot of people that's being destroyed. There's a lot of people that's falling. There's a lot of people that's sick. There's a lot of people that's down and out. There's a lot of people that are pushing, turning their ear away from God. They don't want to have nothing to do with the kingdom. But he said on the flip side of that, there is a whole wave of people that's seeking me like never before. More people are coming to God now than they ever have before because it's something in your spirit, baby, that's calling you. God is calling his people home. That's why y'all finna see. You seeing it already. All kind of people saying they found Jesus. All kind of people saying they coming to Christ. This is the flip side of the coin. Yeah, it's bad out here, but it's a lot of good that's still happening too. This is why you got to turn this stuff off on TV and stuff because they're not going to tell you about the good that's happening. They're not going to tell you about the people that's turning their life over to God, the people that's coming into the kingdom, the people that's getting transformation. You're not going to see that on TV. 
you only gonna see the negative. You only gonna see the folks fighting and throwing drinks and jumping across the table at one another and stuff. That's the type of stuff you gonna see. That's why God said you gotta turn that stuff off. And you got to have a vision, baby. You got to be able to see yourself further than where you are right now. So he said on the flip side, it's so many people that's being delivered. It's so many people that being set free. More people are coming to God now than ever before. Because this was prophesied that in the last and evil days, that God will begin to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. He ain't holding it back on nobody. He pouring it out on all flesh. Anybody that wanted today, baby, is yours for the asking yours for the asking so he said this is what i need you to do when it comes to the things that the enemy presents in your life he said the enemy gonna present it to you like it's the worst thing that could have ever happened to you and oh my god god don't love me and god has forsaken me and all of this stuff that the enemy starts to flood our mind with but you got to remember the word of the Lord, baby. Remember this video. God is telling you that because you are the chosen one, I'm going to flip this thing for you. I'm going to show you the other side of the coin. I'm going to show you the other side of this piece of bread. <laughs> Come on now, God finna flip that thing. So he says, I need you to find the gift in the storm. Y'all put this in the comments, baby. Say every storm leaves a gift. Every storm every storm everything you went through in your life be it good or bad and especially the things that were bad they don't come to crush you they don't come to destroy you they don't come to take you out they're not coming to punish you but it's all about perspective it's all about focus it's all about your viewpoint and how you look at things and which side of the coin are you going to choose to focus on are you going to focus on the good that it brought to your life or the bad and then this is the thing Whichever side you choose to focus on and accept and think about all the time and meditate on, guess what? That side is multiplied. So you get more of that because of, because of another law, because of the law of sowing and reaping. The law of sowing and reaping, when you, when you think those thoughts of toxicity and negativity and evil and wickedness and you continue to meditate on that type of stuff and you continue to think on that stuff and you let it consume you and consume your life every day guess what you're sowing seeds i talk about this in my in my uh start your year with the divine ones master class my divine ones that's in my academy y'all know this ain't new to y'all y'all hear this stuff all the time in my academy we talk about this stuff because we got to get the knowledge so we can break these generational curses because we don't even realize that we sowing seeds of doubt we sowing seeds of negativity we sowing seeds of sickness of poverty and and then we start reaping this stuff because by law whatsoever you sow that shall you also reap so a lot of this stuff is self-inflicted and we don't even know it a lot of this stuff we bringing it upon ourselves because of the way we thinking and our belief system and in the blocks that are in our mind that we have allowed the enemy to build up in our heads and we don't know how to crush it because we don't have the knowledge so the lord says that he wants you to receive the knowledge today he says with all your getting i want you to get an understanding because yes i'm gonna flip some things for you but you have your part that you play in this as well you got to get the knowledge you got to free yourself from this mental prison that the enemy has created in your mind and you have to bust through the doors today, baby, so that you can become the person that God has created you to be. So he's showing me the flip side, the flip side. Somebody say the flip side, the flip side. Come on now, put that in the comments. Say the flip side, the flip side. Y'all tell these folks, tell yourself that it don't matter how bad my storm is or what I'm going through. There's a flip side. There's a flip side. There is another side to this coin. And, and in this storm, no matter how... Uh, no matter how dangerous the winds are, no matter how the lightning is flashing or the thunder is roaring, come on now, there is a gift in this storm. That's what you got to speak over yourself. You got to tell yourself that these things come to make me better, not bitter. Lord, show me the gift. Reveal to me the gift. What is this teaching me? What is this showing me? Who is this helping me to become? Glory be to God. So, the Lord says, I'm going to flip it for you, but you got to flip your mindset. You got to change your mindset. You got to change what you focus on. Come on now. The Bible says that we have to set our hopes on things that are eternal. 
It also tells us that we have to think on things that are pure. We must think thoughts of goodness, not evil. We must think thoughts of abundance, not lack. Come on now. It says, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Why was the scripture telling us that? Because he knew that Paul knew that whatever we think on, that those are seeds that we are sowing into the ground. And we're going to reap a harvest from that. By law, you're going to reap just what you sowed. But if you don't have the knowledge, then you don't know that. You, you don't know why your life is, is the way it is. You don't know why you're going through what you're going through. You thinking it's a conspiracy. Somebody out to get you. It's the government. It's the man. It's it's the white man. It's the black man. It's the my baby daddy. It's my baby mama. It's my ex-wife. You know, it's my, my boss. It's my supervisor. And it's none of these people. It's none of these things. It's you versus you. Put that in the comments, baby. Get your journal and your blue ink pen. We finna go, but write that down. Say it's me versus me. So I got to hold me accountable. I got to get me together. I got to get me first. I got to fix me. I got to love me. Come on now. And it ain't necessarily you fixing you, but you submit submitting your life to God. You surrendering your life to Christ and you allow Christ to come in. You make Jesus Lord and Savior over your life and you submit your life to the rulership of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on now. And then he comes in and cleans you. He comes in and fixes you. He comes in and gets you right. But it takes surrenderance. It takes you allowing him to come in and do that for you, baby. Okay? This is how God is going to flip some things in your life and you're going to see all the hell that you went through. You're going to see how it's going to it's going to turn into purpose for you. It's going to turn into an income for you. It's going to turn into blessings for you. God about to flip that thing, baby. You the chosen one. Come on now. If you know that, speak it out of your mouth. Every day, speak it out of your mouth. Every night before you lay down and go to bed. I'm finna lay down in this bed right here. Baby, I did bedtime chronicles. I'm finna lay down. I just did my face routine. Finna pray, lay down. And as I'm dozing off to sleep, guess what I'm gonna be saying? I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I am God's anointed one. I am a divine one. I am blessed. I am wealthy. I am abundant. Come on now. I am healed. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. Speak life over yourself. In the morning when you rise, speak life over yourself. Before you grab a phone, before you grab a remote, before you grab anything, when you wake up in the morning, speak life. When you rise, speak life. When you lay down at night, speak life over yourself as you dozing off to sleep. Listen to programs that speak life over you. Turn that TV off that's playing stuff on them channels and on live TV and reality TV and all that stuff and them sitcoms and stuff. Turn that stuff off. Come on now. This auntie getting on to y'all, baby. I love you. But I want to I wanna help you become the best version of yourself. Glory be to God. So I got to give you the knowledge. Turn that stuff off. Turn that radio off. Turn that stuff off. And speak life over yourself. This is how you're going to find your purpose. This is how God going to flip some things in your life. Remember, it is law. It is divine universal law that one side cannot exist alone by itself, that there must be another side. I want you to tell yourself when stuff start happening in your marriage, when your marriage get rocky, who am I talking to, baby? You got to tell yourself, uh-uh, uh-uh. We not going to get discouraged. We not going to give up. Why? Because there's another side of this coin. There's another side. All we got to do is flip the side, flip the, flip the coin and look at the other side. Focus on the other side. Yeah, it might be bad right now, but there is some good in this. Let's focus on the good in this because we know that if we focus on the good, if we meditate on, on the good, like God told Joshua, he said, keep my law. Keep this book close to you. He said, be careful to do everything that is written in it. He said, meditate on my word day and night. And he said, I will make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. So when you meditate on the word of God, the scriptures, the laws, the principles of God, come on now, the goodness of God. When you meditate on that, he says that you will be prosperous and you will have good success. So your marriage will be successful. Your children will be successful. Your businesses will prosper. Come on now, because this is law. This is law, but it's up to you. What are you going to focus on? What are you going to think on? What are you going to meditate on? 
I'm telling you, whatever you're going through right now that's bad, baby, is not only bad. It cannot only be bad. I don't care how bad the news was. By law, it cannot only be bad. There must be some good in it. But you got to find the good in it. And if you can't see none, you got to pray and ask the Lord to help you to see it. Lord, show me, reveal to me the gift. I know that this storm brought me a gift. There's a lesson in this. There's a gem in this. There's a jewel in this. Show it to me, Lord. Reveal it to me. Okay, and that's my prayer for you as well, baby. I want you to be praying as I pray along with you that the Lord is going to flip some things in your life, that he's going to flip your mindset. He's going to flip your perspective, that you're going to shift from only thinking about the bad and you're going to start shifting and thinking about the goodness of God. And you're going to begin to meditate on his word day and night. And you're going to see that the Lord is going to make your way prosperous. And that you're going to have good success because you're the chosen one. And this is what he has for you, baby. He has nothing but the best for the chosen one. Glory be to God. But to much is given, much is required. Okay? So I love y'all so much, baby. God about to flip that thing for you because you're the chosen one. Glory be to God. Okay, so to all my ladies, if y'all didn't hear the news, baby, I have opened back up for um, my divine VIP days. So our next stop will be Baltimore, Maryland on um, June the 9th, 2023. Click the link below and sign up. Y'all know how we do. Seating is limited. Seating is limited. So the earlier you get your seat, the better, okay? Seating is limited because I like to try to keep it as intimate as I can with my ladies. So this is a full day of in-person coaching with me, live and in-person, no video, no Zoom. Mm -mm. We live, baby, in the room, in person, in Baltimore, Maryland, okay, on June the 9th, 2023. And we're going to have a full day of in-person VIP coaching. You're going to get a divine VIP swag bag, baby. You're going to have lunch with me and the other VIP queens. So we're going to break bread together, baby. You're going to be able to... um tell your stories. I love to have a portion of the day where I sit down and I let my ladies come up, baby, and they tell their stories. They tell me a little bit about themselves and how they became a divine one. So we're, that's why I try to keep it as intimate as I can because I like to be able to hear from all of the ladies. Uh, we take pictures together. We do book signings. It's amazing, baby. Okay. So we're going to be in Baltimore, June the 9th, and we're going to be in LA, Los Angeles, California on uh, June the 30th. 2023 okay the divine ones coming to california baby and we're coming to baltimore maryland and so if the lord leads you to i want you to sow that seed that's not you just buying a ticket or buying a class or buying an event or paying for some coaching no this is a seed you using a law you using a key do you understand how powerful that is baby do you understand what type of transformation you getting ready to unlock by investing in this VIP day. So it is a seed that you are sowing into your divine destiny, okay? And then if you desire to be there, but it just didn't work out for you to be able to come to Baltimore or come to LA, that's fine. You know what I want you to do? I want you to keep watching these videos. Cause that's what I did. Keep watching them videos, keep getting that knowledge, keep seeking the kingdom of God until your transformation begins to unfold so much in a way that the Lord opens up doors for you. Because as you continue to grow, your money going to grow. Come on now. All things shall be added unto you as you continue to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So when you look at things like this and you say, man, I wish I could go. Come on now, who am I talking to? Man, I wish I could afford a flight. I wish I could afford a plane ticket. Or I wish I could afford a hotel room and buy my VIP ticket. Don't say that. Don't say I wish I can afford it. No, this is what I want you to say. Man, I really desire to be there. I desire to be a part of this because everything starts with desire. It starts with a burning desire. You have to have a desire to be in the room. You have to have a desire to change your life. You have to have a desire to make that transformation. It all starts as a desire in your heart. So you own the right track when you say from within yourself, in your heart, I desire to be in that room with Toya and them other VIP women. So then after you say that, baby, the next thing that you have to say, and I want you to write this down as well. The next thing you have to say is, hmm, Okay, who do I have to become in order to afford that? Yeah, 
What do I need to read in order to become the person that can invest in that? Yeah. How many videos, what videos do I need to watch in order to become the person that can afford that? Because I desire to be able to buy me a plane ticket and go to California and hang out with Toya and the other divine ones. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to start visualizing this. Come on now, use your keys. Jesus said, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you unlock on earth, I will unlock it in heaven. You can unlock yourself from that bondage of being impoverished, of, of, of wanting to be financially free and you can't be. You can use a key and unlock yourself. One of the keys of the kingdom of God is vision. He says, where there is no vision, the people will perish. So if you desire to do something, then you must have a vision. You must be able to see yourself in your mind doing these things. So visualize yourself meeting me or whoever you want to meet. It ain't got to be me. It could be anybody. You use the keys. Visualize yourself meeting these folks and being in the room with these folks. Visualize yourself being in the room with me. I want you to see me and you taking our selfies, baby. We, we taking pictures on your phone. We got other people from my team taking pictures of us. I'm signing your journal. I'm signing your beast mode book. I'm signing your divine destiny prayer journal, baby. You got your VIP swag bag. You and I eating lunch with me. You telling me about your story and how you became a divine one. I want you to visualize all this stuff. And I want you to say, who do I need to become? Yeah, I desire to be there, but I can't be there right now. So I know that I have more becoming to do. So Lord, show me who I need to become in order to get in that room. Who do I need to become? Because it's all about you becoming the person that God has created you to be. It's all about you seeking the kingdom of God, baby, and his righteousness. And he says that when you do that, all other things shall be added unto you. Whether that's a VIP day, come on now, whether that's expansion in your business, whether that's restoration in your marriage, whether that's healing in your body, whatever it is, it will be added unto you. I love you so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Keele, and I'll check in with y'all later.